The only thing that we remember, the only thing that we remember, ladies and gentlemen, is that x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta, right? That's like our holy gale, Brandon, of what we've learned today, basically to represent when we're converting between rectangle and polar coordinates, that's their relationship. So if I give you an equation, I say, hey, what is this in rectangular form? The only way we can write these as x and y's if we have an r sine theta and r cosine theta. And we don't have that anywhere, do we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by r on both sides. Because as long as you do it on both sides, guys, you're fine. Apply the distributive property. We have r squared equals 2r sine of theta minus 4 cosine. Um, I'm sorry, 4r cosine of theta. Does everybody see what I mathematically did? I created now this situation where now I have a r cosine of theta. And now I have a r sine of theta. Dang it. So if I have these two, now what can I replace r sine of theta with? Close. Now i got to get rid of this r, though, right? So I have r squared. Do we have any representation for what r squared represents as far as our conversion? <laughs> x squared plus y squared um, is equal to 2y minus 4x. Now, for where we're at in this, per in this class, I'm going to leave it at this point. Um, we'll get into, actually, this would be, um, we'll talk more about this as far as what this equation would represent. A lot of times, I'll just kind of tell you, we, this was going to get kind of get into, uh, usually what we like to do is group them. And then we would complete the square. But for right now, this is perfectly fine for me. If you just give it to if you just, just, it's not the vertex form. It's not really in any, it's kind of in a standardish form. Um, if you just leave it to me like that, that's perfectly